or the beam loaded as shown by double integration method determine the deflection and slope under the point load and when the load is at the center of the beam ei is constant so first let's compute for the reactions so set moment b0 likewise positive so we have equals ay times l minus p times b so ay equals pb over l then we establish moment equation at this section here so that it will be for the entire span so ei y double prime equals moment at this section so ei y double prime equals pb over l times x minus p times this distance is x minus a so integrating ei y prime equals pb over l times x square over 2 and minus p over 2 times quantity x minus a square plus constant of integration c sub 1 integrating further eiy equals pb over 6l x cube minus p over 6x minus a cube plus c sub 1x there's no c sub 2 because the deflection at a is zero when x is zero so it's a waste of time if we put c sub 2 here anyway when we evaluate c sub 2 up after uh, setting up the boundary conditions it will still be zero remember the interpretation in the derivation of the double integration method so when x is l deflection at b is zero so zero equals pb over 6l times l cube minus p over 6 times l minus a cube plus c sub 1 times l solving for c sub 1 transpose this to the left so it is p over 6l times l minus a cube minus pbl over 6 after we divide by l then take note that l minus a is b so c sub 1 is p over 6l b cube minus pbl over 6 factoring out pb over 6l and we'll have b square minus l square factoring out further b square minus l square into pb over 6l times b minus l b plus l and take note that b minus l is negative a from the figure so c sub 1 is negative p a b over 6 l times l plus b and this c sub 1 divided by ei because when x is 0 this is 0 this term is 0 this is ignored because the value inside the parentheses is negative remember the principle in double integration method so it will leave c sub 1 when x is 0 so c sub 1 therefore is the slope at a so divided by ei so theta a is negative p a b over 6 e i l times l plus b that's the value of theta a then for theta under the load we set x equals a in this equation here so a theta equals p b over 2 l times a square this is 0 when x is a then plus c sub 1 which is negative p a b over 6 l here times l plus b so let's expand the a theta equals p a square b over 2 l minus p a b over 6 distribute then minus p a b square over 6 l factoring out uh, p a b over 6 l then we'll have 3 a minus l minus b replacing a by l minus b so a theta equals p a b over 6 l quantity 3 times l minus b minus l minus b so 3 l minus l is 2 l in these brackets and negative 3 b minus b is 4 b so e i theta is p e b over 6 l quantity 2 l minus 4 b then factor out 2 so e i theta is p a b over 3 l quantity l minus 2 b finally 
data is under the load is PAB over 3AIL quantity L minus 2B. So this will be the value of data under the load B. Then for the deflection under the load B, we use this equation and set X is A. So AI delta equals PB over 6L A cube. This is zero. Then plus C sub 1 negative PAB over 6L L plus B times X, which is A. So distribute and simplify. So AI delta equals PA cube B over 6L minus PA square B over 6. Then minus PA square B square over 6L. After we distribute and simplify. So factor out. P A square B over 6L, then we have A minus L minus B. And we take note that A minus L is negative B, so E I delta equals P A square B over 6L, quantity negative B minus B, and negative B minus B is negative 2B. So E I delta equals negative P A square B square over 3L. So that's the deflection under the load, negative P A square B square over 3 L, then divide by E I, so 3 A I L. Then when the load P is at the center, that means A is L over 2 and B is L over 2. Substitute here and we will call it delta M, the maximum deflection. Of course, when the load P is at the center, the slope would be 0 because by symmetry. So the slope would be zero. It will not be uh, shown anymore. Although we can verify that it is zero when when b is l over two here, this becomes l minus two times l over two. So this is zero. That's why theta is zero when the load b is at the center. So we'll just derive the maximum deflection, and we expect that it is negative p l cube over 48 e i. After we substitute A is L over 2 and B is L over 2. So AI delta M equals negative B L over 2 square, L over 2 square over 3 L. So this is 1 fourth, 1 fourth. So six, 1 over 16, 16 times 3 is 48. Therefore, it is delta M equals negative B L cube. L to the 4 divided by L, so L cube over 48 EI as expected. So delta time equals negative B L cube over 48 EI. So that's it for this problem. I want you to familiar with this formula and this formula only. For the rest, you just derive by integration or by any method.